Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Rolling into the last day of Brazil footies. Today on Thursday, I want to take a look at the next week ahead based off of the voting that we had yesterday. It makes us think once again that it is going to be a Serie A based week of content in FIFA 22. And the voting yesterday was pretty special because it was for a five star. Five star, both weak foot and skill move upgrade. So that was kind of cool. But I want to talk all things about Serie A footies, how it might look with the leaks that we have so far, and how the market could be moving because of that. We touched on it in yesterday's video, but I want to go a little more in depth today at some of those prices. And if you need to fill out some of your team for a Serie A squad to get ready for what we would imagine be a Serie A cup, we'll take a look at that today. Talk about the market from yesterday. And the Ferran Torres SPC that was kind of dropped unexpectedly. There was a leak before content. It's weird. He doesn't have a dynamic image. I'm not sure what's going on here. But another right wing would have been nice if he was a central card. But he is, in fact, a right wing. So we'll talk about that and kind of what could happen today on Thursday. It might just be kind of a calm before the storm type day but there are a lot of leaks to talk about and kind of setting up our promo friday for tomorrow information that we learned from the leak so i'm going to talk about all of that and more in today's video if you're excited for the upload hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new let's take a look at that voting and talk Serie A footies because this is going to be i think a lot of people are going to look at this right away and they're going to say nate it's going to be a dead week of footies and i know that Serie A is not the most hyped league i know it's not probably as hype as we just had in Premier League and Brazil, but give it a chance because I think there could be a lot of really great cards. And starting off with this voting, they put a big name player in here that's most likely going to be our premium footies vote winner SBC on a Friday, Barella. A five-star, five-star Barella card will be very good and a lot of people will be very excited to use that card. Now, the other two that are in his vote, I don't know who's going to get second place. Really, we, we feel like we know Barella is in first, right? We know that he's going to win, which would mean his SBC should be on Friday tomorrow. I mean, I would imagine that even Foot Sheriff would tweet out today a leak of the winners. I believe it was last Thursday where we had the Pato and the Rafinha leak. So I think that Barella and our other winner would be released today. Now, between Zapata and Luis Alberto, I'm really not sure. But both of those as five-star, five-star cards would be pretty nice with the links that they have for some Serie A squads in the next week. So W vote today, in my opinion, but specifically for that Barella. He's going to be a really insane card. This FIFA, he's been very, very good all the way since the beginning. You know, he has his headliners card. He's had some other cards here in between there. People have really loved using that guy in FIFA. So, but with this vote yesterday, kind of cemented the idea along with the leak that we already have about um, the objective with Veritu and uh, Tammy Abraham. It, we think it's going to be a Serie A week in FIFA, and that was that was making us look at the market on yesterday's stream. We were saying, hey, could some of these shapeshifter cards actually start going up? And they they kind of already are, right? And even in yesterday's video, if you went out and took a look at some cards and maybe even started buying a few of them, you might be sitting on cards that are maybe up a little bit in price. Like this uh, Perea card was like in the 55 to 60K range. That's kind of where he's at right now. A lot of your Serie A shapeshifters are going to be a very popular investment for a lot of people because they know and we've seen it year as throughout this year uh, every time they release really really good Serie A content a lot of the Serie A cards go up think about when they released Insigne when they released the Chiellini SBC which I'm sure a lot of you guys still have in your club and you would be preparing to use this next week in a Serie A team when those special Serie A cards get released when it's objectives and SBCs a lot of the other cards on the market go up because most people don't run Serie A teams so they have to go out and buy players to fill out those squads. So a lot of people right now, I think, are looking at the market and saying, hey, can I buy into some of these Serie A cards? Now, I do think there are a lot of them that will go up in price. You know, some of these guys are up like 10K from when we were looking at them on the stream. Do I think that you have to buy like right now when I'm, when I'm looking at these? I don't think so. I think there's going to be opportunities today on Thursday. I think there will even be opportunities on tomorrow, on Friday, even with the release of Serie A footies, to take a look and maybe watch and buy some Serie A cards, whether it's for an investment or for your team. But again, this would be my number one advice. Go into your club, set up a Serie A squad. Like I've got one set up. I don't even know how it looks. I need to go take a look at this because what we would assume to be coming with this and the whole point of preparing for a Serie A week of footies would be for a cup mode, right? We've had cup modes every single week. Holy smokes, my Serie A squad is kind of nasty. I can't lie. Let me take a look if I've got anybody else in here. Vlahovic, I've got a Delict, a Tonali, 
Spinazzola. Okay, we have options. Goodness me. We have options for our Serie A team. But that's kind of what I would do right now to get ready for some of this uh, upcoming content would be take a look, see what kind of holes your squad has, and then maybe go out and buy a couple of players if you need to get ready uh, before everybody else does. Because I do think that you will see some Serie A cards rising up in price this next week. Now, it's not 100% confirmed that it's Serie A once again. Let me just put that out there. We're kind of inferring based upon, upon what we have seen for the leaks uh, of the objectives and the SPCs. But if it goes like the way it has been the past couple of weeks, we would expect a Serie A footies cup this next week. So the one thing I will say is be careful with midfielders. When you're looking to fill out your squad, um, be careful with midfielders because if Luis Alberto and Barella both win, we already have a leak for the Vera 2 and objectives. That would be a lot of midfielders being released um, as footies cards. So that's one thing I'd say maybe you'd be a little bit careful with um, those prices. You know, a guy like Spinazzola, maybe an El Sharawi, if Luis Alberto gets in with five star skills and five star week, but right, the winners of this will be 5-5. Five, five. Just be a little careful with those because midfielders might be under fire with new footies cards coming out there. So that's kind of my thought process on that. And hopefully throughout this next week, if they release more players uh, as SBCs that are Serie A related, EA Sports, this is your like final opportunity to release a Zlatan, okay? This is Serie A, this is the week, okay? Just, just give us a footies premium random out of nowhere you don't need a reason to give us this sbc just give us the zlatan that we all would love and that we all i mean this card on the market right now can't even sell he's 161k that's literally his minimum price his, his price does not go any lower than this we want the footy zlatan ea okay get us a picture of him you know smoking the cigar after winning the scudetto we want our zlatan give him a great card it's time ea sports we've been begging for this since the winter wild cards Give us another Zlatan. So I hope that that sort of content is the way things go this next week um, because that would make it a really, really nice week of footies with some great Serie A players being released. So I would say watch out for that. Now, let's kind of move on and talk about some other leaks because we do have some other leaks, including I still can't wrap my mind around this pack. A 90 plus times 7 pack. We'll get to that in a second. Here's the SBC leaks that we have right now. We have Sal from Winter Wildcards. You guys, of course, will remember this. A, uh, again, favorite, right? That's the whole point is why he's getting released. This was a favorite from when he was released earlier on this year as his Winter Wildcards SBC. Very good card. He's going to be insane at this endgame stage. The only problem is Bundesliga doesn't have a lot of hype or this card is going to be a bit difficult to link at the moment. Um, depending on what special cards you may have, especially in the Bundesliga. So this one, since it's a footy's favorite, probably won't be the premium um, as well. Uh, but that could be a pretty nice card when it comes out. That's our uh, probably favorite that we'll see on Friday, I would imagine. Now, moving on to another leak, we have our secondary objective for this Friday leaked. It is Cornet, Premier League, left back, uh, objective card, Pretty nice. Nothing super crazy here. If you need a prem left back, everybody would remember. This is almost like a footy's favorite in itself. Remember the Rule Breakers uh, cornet from earlier on this year that so many people used and loved early in the game? That's almost the, kind of like a throwback too, even though it's actually not. So watch out uh, for that objective coming this Friday. And then also this pack, and I, I want to spend a little bit of time talking about this because I don't know when this is going to get released. I really have no idea. Uh, but this pack was added to the code. And this is immense. I mean, we thought the, you know, 85 times 10 was pretty dope. It's 90 plus times 7 and only from batch number 2. This pack was added to the code yesterday. Did not drop in the game just yet. Now, the question is, where are they going to put this pack? I think it's either an SBC or an objective. And what else, like, what are they going to require for this? What are they going to make you turn in? Because 90 rated cards on the market are about what 20 22 23,000 coins for a 90 rated card and if you're getting seven of them right you know I, that that's a lot of value like you doing an SBC for getting seven 90 plus cards I think that EA in their they in their wheelhouse they they have the ability to make this SBC like three 350,000 coins because of that potential of packing somebody that's pretty expensive now also we, we did a little bit of math yesterday we looked at all of the 90 plus cards that are in footies batch number two. We did the math. There are 93 cards out of the 150 impacts right now that are 90 plus rated and 43 of those 93. So almost half 
of those cards are rated 95 plus. These packs are going to be incredibly crazy. So again, I don't know when this is going to be released. I don't think anybody expected this. This is like the pack that you would, this is like a late August type of pack. And we just had it added to the code right now. So I don't know what this is going to look like. I don't know when to expect this today on Thursday, I guess, question mark, maybe they would release it today. I would, I would be very surprised. Oh, there is a dynamic, dynamic image for Ferran Torres. Oh, there it is. Okay. Dope. Not bad. By the way, that SBC is great value. I know it's a right wing, but it's cheap. hundred K maybe get it done or crafted if you need to. Um, but a, a 90 plus times seven, that, that almost seems like a pack that should be in like swaps, right? Like, um, like the summer swaps or something. So I don't know when they're going to release that. Maybe it's today. That also could be like a huge pack SBC they could release on a Friday and try to bring some hype. Because if you guys don't remember, and I feel like some people don't remember this, it's it's worth pointing out. Batch two with Benzema, Ronaldo, Neymar, like all the cards that we have in packs right now are going to be in packs for another week. This Friday, this stuff in packs does not change. I don't expect to see a loading screen today unless they do something to try to tease summer swaps too. Uh, because the the cards that are in packs are not changing. So maybe that 90 plus times seven is tomorrow and Friday. Maybe I guess there's a small chance it could be today. So just again, I wanted to make that, you know, well known and put out there that that would be an incredible, incredible SBC. Now what to expect today on Thursday, right? If, if we get that pack, that'd be insane. If we don't, usually Thursdays are kind of quieter. The only SBC that we have re-upping today is the 86 plus player pick, which re-ups every single day. The 85 times 10 re-upped last, um, last Thursday, but it's on a new schedule this week. So we did it yesterday instead. It might be a pretty quiet day on Thursday today, but that's not all a problem because there's still upgrade packs and stuff to grind and maybe to finish up, maybe some objectives to finish up. Um, if you are doing any of the Brazil Cup games, this is your last day to do Brazil Cup games. All I need are, I think it's three more, two or two or three more games that I have to play from the glitched win 27 objective. And I will be getting my final reward and um, I won't be able to get this one. Of course, I'm going to end up being many games short of winning 22, but I will get my nice one of three 92 plus shapeshifters tots or hero shapeshifter player pick, which will be nice to have after grinding this whole entire week. Um, and, or maybe if you're grinding like the silver or the gold select, um, objective modes that you will have time to do that today on the game as well. But like I said, it might be a bit of a quieter day on this game content wise, maybe one last day to go in and do upgrade packs, maybe some 82 plus player picks, which let me take a look at these again. Last week, the 82 pluses. Okay. They're still going to be, they're going to expire on Friday at 6 PM. Interesting. So I guess if you did want to do any player picks on Friday, you'd have to save them up, but we'll talk more about that tomorrow as me. Maybe we'll learn today on Thursday, just a little bit more details about what could potentially be happening on the game tomorrow on Friday as well. If there's any leaks or, or anything along those lines, besides the, the start of summer swaps too, we would expect that tomorrow, 100%. So I want to talk a little bit about, about market here at the end. And I know we've mentioned market a little bit before, but I want to talk about some of these Brazilians because they just keep dropping, man. And it's going to get worse because people are finishing their Brazil cup games. These cards are all still in packs. Neymar yesterday was still pretty low. Neymar was 1.99 at one point that I saw. Let's do our Vinny Jr. check. Uh, I'm pretty sure Vinny Jr. was 1.45, maybe. Somewhere around like one under 1.5 million coins. He Oh my goodness, 1.37. These guys just keep dropping. Where's Marquinhos? I saw him at like 180. It's really what it, what it seems to me. Yeah, 187, 190. People are selling off these Brazilian cards from their teams. And if you keep holding on to them, I do think that it's just going to mean more price drops as we head into today as people sell out and sell off some of these cards that are needed for the Brazil Cup. But today's the last full day to get games in. So I do think you will see some of these prices dropping, you know, especially on like the Edder Militao, the Marquinhos, the cards that are in packs for sure with the supply and the demand kind of ending for the cup mode, I think you will see those continue to go down in price. So I'd be pretty careful um, if I was holding on to any of those. And, uh, you know, just just a quick shout for an SBC that's out right now that I just saw and had to think about. If we're getting a Serie A based week of content this week, if you need a right wing, I think this is your guy. 100,000 coins, basically the same price as um, the... Torres was from yesterday. Four star skills. It's not five star, but this Kiesa would be an absolutely banging card for you to put in your Serie A team. Absolutely 100% recommend that for this next week of Serie A footies. Uh, if I was to go ahead 
and uh, probably do that SPC before it expires um, in there. So other thing I wanted to talk about a bit was SPC fodder. I know we mentioned the 90 rated cards. Yesterday, of course, we saw the same fluctuation happen with all of our very nice 84s. They all went up to around high sevens or 8,000 coins yesterday at the content with the release of the 85 times 10 once again. Today, I would try to, if you have fodder still left in your club, I might think about taking a little bit of the cash before it could drop a little bit lower um, because I do think that today might be a bit of a quieter day. And, you know, I don't know if we're going to have a lot of supply today. I would imagine that we have a, a marquee matchups, throwback marquee matchups. Um, but, you know, Friday, big promo day. Um, I do think that you would see some people continue to sell off these cards. And if there is some tradable supply, might make them go a little bit lower, especially your 83s and your 84s could be the ones dropping. Now, yesterday, uh, as part of our content as well, we had the Foot Hero Shapeshifter and Captain's Player Pick. And as you can see, 10% upvote, 90% downvote. It was not a very good SPC. Not very many people were happy about this one. I did it. Didn't get a very good card. I would steer clear of this. Seriously, I would steer clear. I mean, the very, very off chance of you getting a Genola is so slim, that's probably not worth it. But, you know, doing a 94 plus Shapeshifters player pick is absolutely more worth it than doing this. In my opinion, if you wanted to do a Gamble SBC, they're about the same price, 230 versus 240. And I think a 94 plus Shapeshifter just gives you more of a chance at something better, um, you know, with those just the players that are in that pack and the shapeshifters and all that good stuff. So that's kind of what's going on with this market at the moment. I know there was a lot of FIFA 23 talk yesterday as well, and I'm not going to dive into that in today's video just because I don't feel like it's really prevalent and important for right now. Um, of course, I will, I will link the uh, pitch notes in the description if you want to see everything that was changed from yesterday and everything that was talked about and dropped because there was a lot of new updates. Honestly, uh, what I would do if I were you is click that link in the description and just like try to dig in and try to understand all of the big words that EA uses uses, um, and maybe just read the highlighted like the bullet points on the pitch notes from yesterday because there are a lot of changes of course that are coming to this next year's game um, and, and I mean they're pretty important changes with the gameplay and everything like that but like there's just so much there to digest and to think about and you know I'm not going to really dive too headfirst into that stuff at the moment. Um, with still a lot of going on in 22 and just that being gameplay stuff, that's not hundred percent my forte all the time. We can of course look at it and, and, you know, form an opinion on it. But I think what I'm going to do is I, I need to go through and read more of that myself before I even start trying to make a, a form an opinion on how some things look. So the only advice I'll give you in, in thinking about new gameplay patches and new gameplay updates and stuff like that, whatever is brand new is always OP. Think about what was brand new this, this last year or two years ago, like when they introduced Keeper Movement, that was incredibly OP. New skill moves they introduced. The Bridge a couple years ago in FIFA when it was first introduced, incredibly overpowered. So the new stuff is always pretty OP, so make sure to try to learn it and, and read that and, and see that and see how even in like the little videos that they show on the pitch notes of the skill move being implemented and how to do it, that will give you an idea of how overpowered it can be when you see those videos on that page. So I know there's a lot of FIFA 23 information that's circling around as well. And there was a lot that was dropped yesterday with gameplay, but hopefully EA don't forget about the current game in FIFA 22 today on this game as well. Maybe a surprise player pick EA, just drop us one. Why not? It is basically the end of July. Anyways, give us something to do today on Thursday. That's what we will hope for. But of course, today we'll be looking out for a leak of the second place winner between Luis Alberto and Zapata from the Serie A vote. And we'll continue on in footies, hopefully, with a really solid week of Serie A footies ahead in the coming days. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.